What is going on everybody? Matta222 here today bringing you guys another figure review. Today we are looking at the SH Figure Arts Gang Muscle Kaneko, from Kaneko Khan, I should say, figure. As always though guys, before we look at the figure, let's look at the packaging. So right on the front, nice picture of King Muscle right there. This is the original color number 7 version. SH Figure Arts Kanikumon, the fighting body. Ages 15 and up. Of course, Tamashi Nation's Bandai logo. Nice shot of King Muscle doing the Muscle Buster. Or, yeah, Muscle Buster right there. Very cool. Kanikumon. There he is again. So very cool uh, posability. Well, I mean, we've seen this fighting body mold before, so it's nothing new. Whole oh, bunch of Japanese writing that I can't read. There's a barcode. All right, so that is pretty much the packaging, guys. Tamashii Nation's logo on top. Kanikuman. So uh, let's go right ahead and look at the figure. All right, I'm not going to spend a lot, of a lot of time talking about this guy because he is very plain. Uh, so skin tone is pretty nice. There is some kind of shading in some areas, like in the arm, uh, maybe a little bit in the legs. His little leg seems a little loose right there. Fix him. Not necessarily on the back. Sorry, I had to scratch my eyeball. Or my eye, not my eyeball. Uh, yeah, so a little, maybe a little bit of shading on the back. Not really a lot. This is a very plain figure. It's just a muscle guy with in a in a, some undies. Uh, so I mean, there's not too much to say. Nice sculpted eight pack, very impressive. The white wrist tape. All right, face sculpt. I like. I really like the face sculpt. I don't know why. It just if if you've ever seen the show or even if you've seen like Ultimate Muscle, you can just. Uh, no, it just makes me laugh. I, I really like the face sculpt. Just because of like, I don't know, guys. I can't exp I can't explain it. Just like his manner his mannerisms from the show. You gotta watch. You gotta watch the show, guys. So there is the seal of Ultimate Muscle, painted pretty clean, and it's kind of sculpted on there. So that's pretty nice. Uh, other than that, the white trunks are nice. No paint defects on them whatsoever. It has a belt and the little buckle, which is also painted. So pretty good. Uh, like I said, not too much to say here. All right, articulation. The head moves forward and back. It rotates all around. I mean, there's a peg in the neck that allows you to move that, and then you can also move the head. So a lot you could do with the head. Shoulder moves, arm moves up to there. It's got butterfly joints, and they kind of move in and out. So you can get that extra posability, but even without the butterfly joints, a little stiff. There's still a lot you can move the arm around, so it's pretty nice. Nice bend for the elbow. The wrists rotate and hinge. Now, same for the abs. So the top part you can rotate, you can move around, and then the bottom part you can as well. So a lot, a lot you can do with the body. Like I said, we, we've seen this fighting body before. Kicks this far, hips move out this far, kicks this far back. We've seen this fighting body before, so you know, you know its capabilities. Nice bend in the knee. The ankles do hinge forward and back. They do rock side to side. Uh, other than that, pretty much sums it up. So I'll quickly, just gotta get him. This seems very off. I don't know why. What's going on with you, King Muscle? Why do you look so off-center? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. doesn't really come with a lot of accessories. So he comes with two alternate hands. They're kind of grabbing hands. And they do have hinges on them. So that's pretty nice. And he comes with two alternate heads. So he's got the more pumped up mouth open head and yelling head and he's got the I don't know I don't know how you describe this facial expression like he's about to say something it's like he's about to say something so pretty nice three faces in total uh I I like this figure 
I don't really feel I can justify the price point. I don't feel like you got a lot for the price point, but it still is a nice figure. I mean, if you missed if you missed out on the first release of King Muscle, then I'll I'll, pro I'll probably say go ahead and pick this guy up. Uh, if you're not really a fan of the show or to any degree, then I'm gonna say this guy's an easy pass. Uh, it's things that make him could have made him better. I wish there was a little bit more shading in the body, like he has a little bit in the arms and legs. But other than that, he's just very plain. No color on the trunks, no design on the trunks, no really accessories other than the hands and the head. I mean, if you remember, Terry Man came with a with a little bit more. Excuse me, guys. Not Terry Man. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was Terry Man. It was Terry Man. But a nice figure nonetheless. Uh, like I said, if, if you're a fan of Kinikuman, if not, then this guy's a pretty easy pass. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. I want to thank you again for watching. Thank you again for all your continued support. It means so much to me, guys. You guys are the best. Make sure you like this video. Leave me a comment, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time with another figure review. And...